All right, let's play a game here. I want you to choose one of these three cards. Either the Eight of Spades, the Nine... No, no, don't, don't tell me what it is. Okay, let's start over with a different set of cards. This time I don't want you to tell me which card you're choosing. All right. Okay, choose one of these three cards. Eight of Diamonds, the, the, don't tell me what it is. Eight of Diamonds, Two of Clubs, or Queen of Spades. All right, have you made your choice? Good, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange these cards into one of three columns, the left column, the middle column, or the right column. And I'm going to ask you which column your card is in. Okay, let's begin. I'll put the Queen of Spades down in the middle column, the Two of Clubs down in the middle column, and I'm going to put the Eight of Diamonds down in the middle column. All right. Which column is your card in? The left column, the middle column, or the right column? The middle column, you say? Okay, great. All right. That was round one. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to try to figure out what your card is here. So now I'm going to put down the two of clubs in the middle column. I'm going to put down the eight of diamonds in the middle column. And I'm going to put down the Queen of Spades in the middle column here. All right, which column, left, middle, or right, is your card in? The middle column. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh, what's that? Oh, you're annoyed. Well, you're right. I haven't quite figured out which card is yours just yet, but I will if you'll bear with me. You say I'm trying the same thing over and over again. It's not working. I should try something different. If what I'm doing isn't working, try something different. Okay, I, I think I could do that. All right, this time I'll put down the Eight of Diamonds in the right column. And I'm going to put down the Two of Clubs in the right column. Ah, remember last time I put everything in the middle column. This time I'm using the right column. I'm going to put down the Queen of Spades in the right column. Now which column, left, middle, or right, is your card in? The right column. Okay, that's great. All right. <clears throat> I still don't know which card is yours. <clears throat> um, what if I arrange the Eight of Diamonds in the left column and the Queen of Spades in the middle column and the Two of Clubs in the left column? Well, now, if you tell me that your card is in the middle column, I'll know. I'll know that you chose the Queen of Spades as your card in the first place. But if you tell me that your card is in the left column, I'll know that your card is not the Queen of Spades, but that your card must be either the Eight of Diamonds or the Two of Clubs, but I don't know which one. So I'll have to do another experiment to figure out which one. What happens if I go like this and put Eight of Diamonds in the middle and the Two of Clubs on the right? Well, then, if you answer that your card is in the middle, I'll know that your card is the Eight of Diamonds. And if you answer that your, your card is on the right, I'll know that it's the Two of Clubs. So all of this, of course, is very silly. But what's the magic here? Why, why was the strategy that I began with so terrible? And what's the intelligence strategy that allows, in, in general, on average, for the fewest number of rounds to figure out your card? Well, what if I'd done this? I put the Queen of Spades on the left, the Eight of Diamonds in the middle, and the Two of Clubs on the right. In round one, if I'd done this, and you'd answered left, middle, or right, I would have known in just one round which card was yours, based on your answer. And what is magical about this? Well, the magic is that when you attempt a discovery, the greatest revelation is achieved when all of the possibilities approach equal probability. So, let me say that again. When attempting a discovery, the greatest revelation is achieved when all of the possibilities 
approach equal probability. My terrible strategy in the beginning, there are three possibilities for your answer. Left column, middle column, right column. But since all of the cards that I had chosen to lay down were in the middle, it was highly improbable that you would say the left column. In fact, you'd be lying if you did. Highly improbable, likewise, for the right column, and highly probable that you would answer that your card was in the middle column. So this was improbable, this was probable, this was improbable. That's, that's not a terrific strategy when compared to this strategy. Now we've got uh, highly improbable on the left with no cards, fairly probable in the middle with two cards, and somewhat probable on the right with one card there. Because if your card's in the middle, you could have two, two, two answers, two cards, two choices of card that would result in you answering the middle column, and one choice of card that would result in you answering the right column. And you'd be lying if you said the left column. So this is better because the probability is a little more spread out now. It's not all concentrated in the middle column. But it's still not as optimal as if I'd laid out one card in each column. Now, it's just as probable that you'll answer the left column, because it has one card, the middle column, because it has one card, and the right column, because it has one card. So the magic, once again, is when attempting a discovery, the greatest revelation is achieved when each of the possibilities approaches equal probability. They don't have to be equally probable. If you had just two cards and three columns, three possible answers, you can't have an equal probability here. Nobody will ever answer the left column. But this is as close as we can get to equal probability for each possibility. This wouldn't be as great because it would be more probable here in the middle than on the right or left where there are no cards. So if we, if we spread out the probability across all the possibilities, in general, that yields the fewest number of experiments or rounds or observations before we get to the, the answer or the truth or the discovery that we're seeking. Well, I hope you were entertained by this. If you were, please subscribe or give a thumbs up or leave a comment. Thank you. Goodbye.